And we're back with another review here at Total Toy Recon. Today, as you can see, we're going to be reviewing the 1-6 scale mini bust of Kazian Andor from Rogue One. That's right, not from the Andor TV series, but this is Diego Luna from Rogue One. So, it is released by General Giant, Diamond Select Studios. As you can see, we have a lot of detail here. It's a limited edition to 2,000 pieces. And this is, this is the Andor we knew from the film, as again, not from the TV series, um, which is kind of surprising to me, actually. Now, we just did have, you know, Andor, Andor just wrapped, but we also had Rogue One come back in theaters for a limited run right before Andor premiered. So it's, he's kind of back in the public consciousness again. I'm fascinated that they released this version of the character with the sniper rifle over and not even in the jacket that he wore with the sniper rifle over releasing him from the series. Um, which is funny because Hasbro released Andor from in the Vintage Collection line from the series as well as their new Black Series figures, but did not re-release any of the other figures. And if you're a collector like I am, we picked up a lot of those Rogue One Andor figures very, very cheap. Everything from discount outlets to all the... I think there was just a, a saturation. Um, not that the movie was bad. It's just there was an oversaturation of Rogue One products. So let's get to this one today. We are several years out from Rogue One. But we do have this one six scale mini bus. So um, we do have no sticker here on the bottom. But we are limited to 2,000 pieces. Get this out of the box here. All right, I've got him out of the box, and normally I would just get to the point where we just uncrack the what I call the plastic coffin or the styrofoam coffin that he's safe in there. But this is an anomaly to me. Um, for the first time, the tape is not here around where this meets. It's actually this way, which is weird. And for a change, the collector's card, the, the letter of authenticity, is taped to this. So I, that's a first. Now, I probably opened maybe 50, 60 or more uh, uh, General Giant statues here at Total Toy Recon, but I've never seen this attached. So what we're going to do is we're going to, I, I cut this, we're going to open this up here and get him out of the styrofoam coffin. All right. So uh, as I said, we had 428. Um, there's the number again, 428. I'm going to slide him off there. Now I... I thought on the box, as we get into it here, I thought on the box, it didn't really look too much like uh, uh, Diego Luna. And I, I really do like him as an actor, not just in Rogue One, but um, Open Range is a movie that's really, really good uh, and, and worth watching him in. It's a Kevin Costner Western. It's one of the greatest shootouts of all time. Uh, definitely want to check that out. He's 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 good in that. Um, and that was, I think, the first thing I can remember really remember seeing him. But... I didn't think it looked like him on the box. Here in person, uh, I think it really does him justice. Now, um, sadly, it does not tell me on the box who sculpted him, but I will try and put it in the credits uh, on YouTube and Instagram. But what I'm really liking is I'm liking the details here of the vest, where there's the Velcro would pull it tighter. Really nice detail, of course. I love this yellow thing. It, there was a, there was, you could actually buy a vest or a shirt like this, very similar at Hot Topic when Rogue One came out. Um, so here's one downside, I'm going to say. And normally you don't see things like this uh, from General Giant, but if you can see it, they didn't make the thumb inside the belt. So they probably should have just had his thumb over like this. Uh, it's supposed to be that it's looped in. But it's not. And that's not, that's usually a detail they don't miss. Like we've got a zipper here, but here the thumb stops. I mean, if you look at it this way, it still kind of looks like it's broken. Uh, it's not. It's just they stop the thumb at going into the belt. So we have all of these extra cartridges here. Um, the head does not move, but I think it's a very uh, decent likeness of him. I was skeptical, I, like I said, when I saw the box. So let's get this. Um, get the sniper rifle out and this was you know if if you followed rogue one and I, and I really did um especially all the products that were out i mean at that point you still had force awakened toys being out there were nerf guns everything they actually made this as a nerf gun and i kind of like the homage that this gun had to a lot of the rebel rifles that you saw uh on endor in return of the jedi that's i really love this gun um 
and I and I tried to get it a few times when it was it was for sale by Nerf because I figured you could repaint it and and definitely look good. I have several of the Nerf pistols. Um, I even have a ten and four like uh, rebel like trooper uh, rifle from Nerf, but I wish I would have gotten this one. This would have been great. So another little odd thing. Um, usually in these mini busts, this is held on with a magnet. So this hand would go in here and a magnet would hold it in place. So that's odd that that's not there. If, if maybe it's because of the angle that it's at and it's just naturally gravity is going to hold it in there. See here, we have fantastic details here with all these fingers, the fingernails, a little bit of dirt, a little bit of grit. You can actually see the rifles, uh, stock and handle uh, here through his fingers but then yet the sculptor left that thumb out i just don't understand that but odd that there's no magnet here and maybe it's because like i said gravity holds it in usually some of these um we just reviewed uh, uh, uh captain rex and you can check that one out on youtube and instagram uh magnets you know, um, was, was holding the head in, you know, um, and we did a couple others where the hands are held in place. A lot of the, the stormtroopers, the hands are held in place by magnets, not here, but overall really, really impressed with the likeness of him. And I, I thought I was going to be disappointed. Um, the colors are great. It's got that lived in rogue one star Wars look that I really liked about the film. I also love the jacket here too, because it's very reminiscent of Luke's yellow jacket, just not the bright yellow. Um, so this retails for the mini busts at, uh, 120. Um, I definitely check out General Giant first because they do offer free shipping. And then I would go to secondary market, Entertainment Earth, Big Bad Toy Store, check either one of those places. But if you are a fan of Andor or Rogue One or, D or Diego Luna, definitely want to check this out. Um, this is a nice piece. It really does need, uh, a K2SO right off to the side. I think you could put this as either one with your Rogue One books. There's a lot of those Rogue One books and novels, um, but it's right off to the side. This is a nice piece uh, and fitting to the character and the legacy that the character is going to have now. So really, really uh, appreciate General Giant sending one out. We'll give you a last little bit of scope here. Here we have the Mandalorian. That is the Star Wars Vintage Collection line. Uh, shows you some scale here. Get back into focus. And then... Here is a First Order Black Series Stormtrooper. Yeah, I know these guys get a lot of play, but it gives you some scale there. So it definitely shows you how big this 1-6 scale mini bust is. Uh, and top to the rifle, we're talking just shy of 8 inches. So this is Bob from Total Toy Recon. Thank you for tuning in. Please check out all our reviews. Subscribe to our channel. Follow us on Instagram. And let me know what you think. I really want to do. Uh, I, I do. Because sometimes I make mistakes. Sometimes I say names wrong. I love corrections. I love that the fact that the internet likes to police itself. Especially Star Wars fandom. Thank you. And have a good night.